fuck's sake. I know the title of the video is clickbait and I'm sorry, but just bear with me a minute. Yo, bar, what's up and what's happening? And today I've got a little bit of a rant for you. So for those of you who probably don't give a shit, I am a full-time personal trainer, physiotherapist, and I also do some online nutrition coaching. And my main job is in a gym. And so in gyms, as most people know who go to gyms, there are TVs. And on these TVs are adverts. And the other day, I saw an advert that actually offended me. The advert is an advert for SlimFast with this rapper who's called Big Nasty. Now, before I go on this rant, I haven't got anything against Big Nasty whatsoever. I do remember that video that he had with Craig David. And no, I'm not going to do the impression. Craig David. There you go, I did it. But the thing that really pisses me off about this video is the fact that they've used someone who's overweight or, okay, let's just say it how it is, they're obese, and they're using their product to do what? To be able to speak to fat people? I just don't get it. Why on earth would a company who's been going for donkey's years, I mean, I actually forgot that SlimFast even exists, but why would a company employ someone such as Big Nasty, who's obviously a big guy, and get him to do an advert for, uh, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be a music video? Why they have created a music video for an advert with a really, really bad rap in it from Big Nasty. I think that he could do better. It doesn't come to any form of health. The advert doesn't actually specify any form of health whatsoever. So I don't know if you've seen the advert, it's basically Big Nasty in this double-decker bus rapping and sort of obviously publicising Slim Fast. He even got a Slim Fast like diamond necklace on. I'm constantly seeing adverts which are basically about health. Either they're about fitness or they're about supplements or they're about better nutrition or they're about easier ways to be able to cook food. Okay, we get it. We need to be healthier. We need to be better. Fuck me. Even I'm on it. But for some reason or somehow, SlimFast have got it completely fucking wrong. I don't know exactly the market that they're trying to advertise to. And it literally is because they are using a rapper or an artist or whatever to be able to sell their product but I don't really understand what they're trying to sell are you trying to say that your product is actually going to make you slim in terms of the slim fast but you're using people who are overweight fuck I haven't actually seen a slim fast for ages I wonder what the nutrition's like so I went and had a gander on their website and looked at some of the nutrient facts or the ingredients inside their uh, slim fast shakes and actually I was quite surprised that some of the ingredients that I was expecting to see on there weren't actually that bad does that mean that I'm going to okay slim fast for you no of course it fucking doesn't. I hate Slim Fast. I hate anything like Slim Fast, okay? So looking at these ingredients, the one thing that I would definitely say to people is, is that Slim Fast is not going to be a fast way of losing weight. Why? Well, because it's basically processed food, okay? And this is the thing they don't tell you. There is no way in hell that Slim Fast grows off a tree or comes out the ground or can be farmed basically okay slim fast has got absolutely nothing to do with modern day agriculture or any type of agriculture slim fast is a bunch of ingredients and probably some chemicals and also dye that is there to make as a ready shake now i understand that calories in versus calories out and all that crap is going to be something where you say oh well you know the lower amount of calories you have is basically they're going to mean that i'm going to lose weight or the person can lose weight mm, okay but you're kind of getting away from the point the point is, is that by consuming processed food, you're not doing yourself any better. The whole idea of this is that you are supposed to be better. So if I got into investment, for example, and I started investing in stock and I invested in some really shit stock and I was actually worse off than when I began, let's say two years down the line, I was actually poorer than I was when I began, then I'm a shit investor. I haven't done any better. It's exactly the same for your diet. Like if you're not going to improve your diet, then why even bother starting? And certainly SimFast is going to be something that you're going to be able to do that on. You need to start looking at you. You need to start looking at your habits and you need to start looking at the food that you choose to put inside your mouth and everything else that goes with that. At the crux of it, I don't understand what you're trying to sell me. Like, are you trying to sell me a SimFast? 
Are you trying to sell me a protein shake? Are you trying to sell me a snack? Or are you trying to sell me something that's supposed to be healthy, where I'm supposed to be losing weight, but you're using someone who is overweight to sell it to me? I just don't understand that whatsoever. The other thing that really pisses me off as well is the fact that I have to watch these YouTube adverts, which are always food or takeaway or buy food and we'll basically prepare it for you, whatever. But behind it all, they have some form of health benefit. They're actually trying to sell health, okay? These adverts are all trying to benefit you, okay? They're about, they're generally about food or they're about exercise or they're about some fitness watch that you can strap to your wrist, but they are all there as tools to be able to improve you, okay? And I get that. And obviously they're a company and they're trying to make money. That's absolutely fine. I'm not interested because I already know how, I'm already in great shape. That's not the point. <laughs> the point is, is that the people that they are marketing to, they are trying to improve them overall. But SlimFast have just got it completely fucking incorrect, in my opinion. The reasons why you shouldn't drink SlimFast, not only the fact it's processed, is the fact that it will say on there that it's low in sugar and high in protein, okay? What type of protein is that, okay? It's probably a form of whey protein. It's probably not even whey protein, but it's a protein that has been through a process. That protein that you're consuming from that SlimFast is processed, okay? That basically means that it's not natural, it doesn't come from a natural source, and therefore it's going to be treated like any other processed um, macronutrient or whatever drink that you put inside your body. If you were to consume something like a slim fast, then expect your insulin levels to rise. Your insulin levels will spike regardless, isn't it? Okay, it's low in sugar. Um, and it doesn't have that much overall carbohydrate in it. But what it does have is a volume of protein. But that protein, because it is processed, will up your insulin anyway, regardless, because it's been processed. Basically, processed protein powder has exactly or almost exactly the same effect as sugar, because it is a refined powder. When it gets, when it gets into your stomach, it's gonna start digesting it immediately. Whereas if you have like, you know, 10 ounces of steak, that's gonna take a lot of time to digest that food and get all the enzymes that are going and everything and the digestive juices, and it has to push itself down into the digestive tract and be processed there. And obviously, you know, the gut microbiome's gonna have a go at it and it's gonna all be torn up and teared apart. That all takes energy. When you're drinking a fucking slim fast, it takes absolutely no energy to digest that. And therefore, it's gonna have almost the same effect as you drinking a full fat can of Coke. It just, okay, probably not that bad because it is gonna have some mineral content to it and I think they've probably added some vitamins. So not only is this drink probably too expensive and not that good for you, but it's not really gonna do you any favors and it's definitely not gonna help you lose weight. It might with a calorie controlled diet, but if you're gonna drink anything, just try and have like some yogurt with some soy milk or some normal milk. Fuck it, put some honey in there. <laughs> or blend it and put some natural berries in there. I know it is a little bit more effort and you're gonna to say to me, oh yeah, but that's a process. If I blend it, then that's a process. Yeah, it's a process, but it's not exactly the same as having a fucking slim fast, okay? One, I don't really understand the advert. Are you trying to correlate big nasty to other big people and get them to relate to that and say that by drinking slim fast, it's going to make them slimmer? but Big Nasty is a big guy. It says it in the name. Two, Slim Fast isn't a very good choice of food in general or drink. Three, it's not that difficult to make something like a protein shake or a meal replacement healthy. It just doesn't take that much effort. Four, and if I see anyone drinking a Slim Fast, I'm literally going to tip it on you. Okay, I'm probably not gonna do that, but don't drink a Slim Fast. Find something better, something a little bit more nutritious, something healthier for you. That's the whole point. So, I hope you found this rant useful, and if you didn't, then you probably just wasted your time. Slim Fast can do one, and for the rest of you, be fit, be healthy, and of course, be a boss bear.
Este é o